Hi, my name is Craig Mill and I'm the e-learning advisor for inclusion and accessibility at the uh, Regional Support Centre in North East Scotland. During the interview, uh, Errol talked about the W3C guidelines. And if you're unfamiliar with the W3C guidelines, it's essentially a consortium of groups, which is a worldwide consortium which have got together to, to um, put together guidelines on, on accessibility to ensure that uh, the web is, can be accessed by a wide range of groups. One of the interesting features of the website, just going back to it here, is if I scroll down to the bottom, there's a validation tool to ensure that the website is validated. Uh, so if I select this link now, it takes us straight, straight to the W3C guidelines and it will do a validation check to see that this page, and in fact the whole site, is valid. So you can see it's telling us now that the page is valid to strict, uh, to strict guidelines. So it's just looking at the HTML, the code, the language underneath the web page, and it's telling us that it's very, very valid. Another uh, very good feature, again just going back, is looking at the, the CSS. These, these are the style sheets that you can see the designs that Errol's very uh, carefully put in here. So I'm going to check to see that they're, to see what kind, to see how good they are as well. I'm just putting the Courtbridge website in, and I'm going to check that. So not only do we have very, very good HTML, but we should also have, if Errol's done his homework right, which I'm sure he has, you can say congratulations, no errors, that the CSS, the style sheets, are also very good too.